that's Roosevelt's collection. And it's apparently only 12 or 11 in the world, and this is one of them. And it's just sitting Just like sitting that? in an unlocked cabinet. Nairobi County Council, 1956. Wow. Oh no. Hi, my name is Wanjiro Koinange, and I am a founder, a co-founder at Bookbank. I am Angela Washuka, and I am co-founder of Bookbank. <laughs> <laughs> We're twinsies. We're twinsies. That was terrible, sorry, let's, no? shall we do it again? <laughs> okay. With a country that has the kind of history that we do, I mean, there'll always be more urgent things than libraries. How do you make the intellectual formation of a people an urgent matter? Yeah. And I think libraries have a huge role to play in that. When the county assembly member, Janet Ouko, came into office, we were thinking, oh, this is fantastic. We have someone to deal with directly. We were very excited to get that call to say, the paperwork is ready, come and sign it. I remember thinking, no, today's not the day. Shiro's not here. This is such a big moment for us. It's such a moment and a milestone for Bookbank. I won't be there to witness it, which is a bit bittersweet, but it's okay. and I will jump on a call. Blurbs for front page. It's only template by July. Yeah. Another key focus point for us has been data. We realized in our research that there's not enough data about Nairobians and Kenyans' relationship with libraries. Think of all of this as public participation first. How do artists want to be involved? How does the larger public want to be involved? How do the current staff who know this space best want to be involved? Then we have people talking about real life experiences. from you about any suggestions you might have. We'll tell you what we're doing and then we'll give you space to, to respond. This used to be the kids section. Me and my little sis used to come on Saturdays. It's super sad that now it's just a, a pile of desks and tables. I was actually trying to find books by African authors. The content in this library is from the views of specifically white men, which is very problematic. When it was opened in 1931, this library was never intended for African users. So when it was handed over to the city, there was never an attempt to decolonize that quite purposefully. It's something that we're thinking deeply about, and it's a phenomenal amount of work. <sighs> I've got good energy. Me too, me too. Good nervous energy, but good energy. Yeah. When you're nervous, you're on the right track.